Hey guys, before I begin this video, I just wanted to clear something up. During the vid, we talk about June 1st being the start date for the Kickstarter a lot. And obviously, that date has already passed. It is already available for you to check out right now at this very second, but it got pushed back along with this video due to an unforeseen tragedy that happened to the family who created the game. I don't think it's my place to go into any details about it, but you can follow the great people behind this Jurassic game at their Facebook page, which I'll provide for you guys as well. I didn't want to release this thing prematurely, and have it affect anybody negatively, so I decided not to release it until they were ready, which as of right now, they are. So if you're interested in checking out the game, links will be included to everything down in the description below. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I'm joined by a pretty special guest. All right, man, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm uh, JP, known as Jurassic Rex on uh, many different websites. Uh, pretty happy to be here, and I'm, I'm an uh, ambassador for Jurassic World Miniature Game. Yeah, and that's something that we're here to talk about today, something very new that's going to be premiering pretty soon on Kickstarter. But basically... Exactly. To run down everything, JP reached out to me through an email and he wanted to basically get my opinion on this miniature game that was coming out. I've never played a miniature game before, but this one was Jurassic, so immediately I was interested. I get a lot of emails from a lot of different people, I'm not so sure what to take seriously, what not to. So when he first sent me something, I was like, okay, well, who is this guy? He says he knows my <laughs> channel. Uh, he says he knows me because he watches my videos. I was like, yeah, he's just trying to like them to get something he wants. <laughs> but then he showed me uh, one of the playable characters for the game, and it was right. Roland Timbo. So yeah. he had to have known, he had to have at least watched some of my videos to know that that's yeah, my favorite. Yeah, just a game. bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just a few of those, yeah. All right, man. So uh, <laughs> that was, you earned it like there. there. I was like, okay, you, you, you know me. So I, I better like <laughs> give you a little bit of attention. So can you tell That's us uh, what is the Jurassic World miniature game? What are we looking at here? Okay, so um, Jurassic World miniature game is created by Exit Games, which is uh, a French gaming company. Uh, but no worries about that. The game will be released and available in many different languages. Uh, and just so people know, um, it will launch on Kickstarter on June 1st, 20, 2019. Um, so it's, it's a board game um, and it's kind of like uh, Warhammer games, uh, but it's not really like war, right? Because it's dinosaurs and it's about survival. Uh, so you will be able to play uh, different characters, humans and obviously our favorite dinosaurs. And so you will have many different missions and side missions depending on who you're playing. For example, your uh, mercenaries trying to get out of the island, uh, get back on the boat and against you there's a pack of raptors trying to get at you or defend uh, uh, an egg's nest, uh, those kind of things. So really exciting things. Right, and these are actual dinosaurs and character models that you told me are coming straight from ILM, correct? Yes, sir. Everything is legit and 100% authentic. So every dinosaur is from ILM. Uh, the T-Rex has all the bite marks and scars from all the movies. Um, there's just, uh, man, I've seen the list. Um, it's not going to launch, not, not all dinosaurs are, are going to launch uh, with Kickstarter, but there's the whole list and there's everything, every dinosaur possible, and even dinosaurs that didn't appear yet in the movies. Whoa, really? So we're talking about Jurassic World 3 dinosaurs? Yes, sir, but that's going to be confidential, so I'm not going to say more about this. Hey, man, you've already interested me well enough with the Roland Timbo thing, <laughs> so this is... This is icing on the cake. So you've got dinosaur models that are coming directly from Industrial Light and Magic. Yes. This is backed by Universal, correct? Yeah. And uh, Universal and Amblin, actually. Oh, both. Okay, great. Yep. Now, we've gone over this before, uh, the Jurassic World miniature game, and I've never played one before. So one of the first questions I have for you is, how do we play Jurassic World the miniature game like what is the objective of the board uh, you can play as people and dinosaurs but what are we going to be doing okay well um, so your characters have uh, hexagon bases 
and all the board、uh, will be divided in hexagons. So it looks kind of like a chess game. So you know where you can move, what you can do, and keep track of distances and possible movements. For example, for an attack, defense, to dodge, to get to cover.、Um, so it's most of the time, but it depends on the scenario.、Uh, one of the basic scenarios is your、um, a group of humans. Helping a Triceratops、uh, getting away from raptors,、uh, and not only raptors but、uh, Carnotaurus as well.、Uh, so it's going to be mostly like humans and herbivores against、uh, carnivores. And what you'll do is、uh, you're not going to play this game like any other board games. You're not going to use any dice, but only action cards. So each character. As a deck and its own cards, and those cards will、uh, allow him to do certain actions. For example, your raptor. Well, you can use a speed of the cheetah card, which will allow you to go faster and attack faster.、Uh, you're a triceratops. You can defend yourself better. You're a human. You need to stay in group and make sure you can use those、uh, tranquilizers to、uh, make sure you stay alive throughout the game. And One of those scenarios is、uh, you help the Triceratops go to the other side of the board、uh, and get to safety. And a side mission could be that your friends, other humans, were in a jeep, but it crashed, and so the Triceratops will help you get that jeep back on track, and so you guys can go、uh, get away、uh, from the raptors. That kind of scenarios. One of the things I wanted to get on board with is you will play not only missions created for the game, but also iconic scenes from all the Jurassic movies, okay, like、cool. the T Rex and Indominus fights, and yeah, the Mosasaurus will be included in that. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Okay, it's the full、yeah. fight. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. All right, and、uh, well, that's really cool, man. So not only are there little objectives that this game is、yep. creating, but also stuff from the movies, and this is all five movies, correct? Oh yeah, all five, and actually all six. One, the the、um, third、oh. entry of Jurassic World is out. Excellent. All right, that's really cool. Everything. Yeah. Okay, so、uh, another question I've got for that then is how many people can play this game together? Well, there's no real limits.、Um, there was even like dis- discussions about can you play by yourself.、Um, so it's in the works. It's、uh, but it's normally between two to eight players. But if you have a bigger board, well, I, I'm sure you can play、uh, with more friends. Wow, that sounds really massive. I, I don't think I've ever played、oh, a、yeah. board game with eight people before. That's crazy. <laughs> So when you one quick question I want to ask when you、yeah. say the missions that you can expect in the game that, that were kind of like the movies obviously we talked about the Lost World、uh, is there anything that would be similar to hunters getting across the long grass or possibly、uh, <laughs> it's, it's funny you're asking that one I was actually going to talk about it so yeah those kind of scenarios those kind of scenes the long grass scenario the trailers、uh, oh, all that that's great everything.、Man. JP3、yeah. will get the same treatment too, right? Oh yeah,、uh, Spinosaurus is in the works. You can you can reenact the scene, and for once you can help the T-Rex win this time, right? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. All right. So、uh, when we're playing this game, and there are dinosaurs, and obviously human characters can get killed by the dinosaurs. But I remember、yes. you saying that there was tranquilizers involved. So yes, so only dinosaurs can kill because they're you know. Uh, they're only fighting for territory or food. Well, unless you talk about the、uh, um, Indominus Rex, who's doing it for、uh, sport. Right. But、uh, other than that, humans cannot kill dinosaurs.、Uh, this this was something that Universal was、uh, really keen on. They didn't want to make a war game. They just wanted it to be kind of a survival game. So there's not going to be any killing aside from the dinosaurs just feeding. Okay. So how long do dinosaurs stay tranquilized on the board then? So, if successfully tranquilized, a dinosaur will be sleeping like a baby throughout the entire game. But don't worry; it takes more than just a few darts to put them to sleep. Unless, well, you're Roland Timbo, T-Rexes be aware. Oh, oh, great! <laughs> yeah.、Um, so this is going to be straight up from the movies too. Would that have the same sort of rules applied to it, like the Indoraptor from Fallen Kingdom? Um, that is a good question. That's、um, sadly an information that I cannot give okay,、uh, as、no、of、worries. now. But there's going to be those kind of things. It's、um, it's a game that's trying to be、uh, authentic and respectful of the saga. So everything that you've seen in the movies is 
gonna pretty much be in this game. Gotcha. So this question I've got for you is, yeah. uh, we've, we've, we seem to have already covered it, but I just wanna ask one more time. What can sure. fans of The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 expect to see in this game? Because obviously the first Jurassic Park is the one that everyone talks about the most, and the two yeah. new Jurassic World movies are what they want to promote right now, but what about yeah. fans of the first two sequels? Well, um, like you said, there's going to be scenes, there's going to be dinosaurs, uh, characters, and so each character is, um, each character has like a specific set of abilities. So you can actually like throw a T-Rex piece to a Spinosaurus, those kind of things. Um, okay. And so Lost World, same thing, scenes, characters, dinosaurs. And uh, every time there's a new dinosaur or a new character, it, the, the, that character has its own abilities and is own cards uh, that he won't be able to, uh, that you won't be able to use with any other characters. Um, and uh, yeah, those kind of things. And there was something that I was uh, pretty excited about was that um, I asked the creators of the game, is there going to be any like T-Rex family pack? And they said, yes. So you can expect if the Kickstarter is successful enough, more dinosaurs, including like a T-Rex family pack with Buck, Doe, and the baby T-Rex. Well, that's awesome. That'd be something a lot of people would love. Um, oh, yeah. And one quick thing I want to ask about JP3, because obviously we know Roland's in the game. It's how you got this interview. But um, <laughs> what about uh, Billy Brennan or maybe Eric Kirby? Uh, someone from that movie possibly being a character in the game. Is is that a thing? Everybody. Everybody. Man. Everybody. Uh, the tricky thing, though, is uh, trying to have every actor to agree to appear in that game. So, oh yeah, um, right. So far, um, the most iconic characters um, like Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, John Hammond, they're all in the game uh, for sure. But there are different actors who haven't agreed yet, so we need to wait a little bit for that. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Okay, cool. So that makes sense because obviously we know from Jurassic park the game the telltale release uh yeah you know jerry harding didn't look like jerry harding because you know, <laughs> not at all yeah we we know why but <laughs> all right man so basically we're talking about a miniature game that plays on a hexagonal board we've got dinosaurs and humans dinosaurs can kill people humans can only tranquilize carnivores are working against the herbivores you can reenact scenes from all five films and eventually six when the next yep. movie comes out uh, all, as many people as you can imagine can play the game, missions straight out of the movies, dinosaurs get tranquilized, Lost World and JP3 fans included. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds cool to me, man. I'm actually, I'm very excited. So what is the Kickstarter campaign? Like, how does that work? So next week, there's going to be a link provided to every Exit Games uh, and uh, group related to, to Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. So Kickstarter will launch on June 1st, 2019. That is next Saturday, and it will run for three weeks, ending on Friday, June 21st. Um, when you go to Kickstarter, there will be three items available. Uh, the first one is the starter pack, which will include a Triceratops, a Carnotaurus, a pack of Raptors, Mercenaries, uh, all their respective cards, as well as a game board. And that's going to be for about uh, $55. It's 50 euros. Um, there's going to be a second pack, which is the Domination pack, which I'm really looking forward to, because there's going to be in that pack a T-Rex and an Indominus Rex. And that's going to be for $40. And Finally, a third pack that's going to have Blue, Owen, and the Indoraptor for the same price, $40. Um, so first day supporters only will have an exclusive John Hammond figure and the iconic Jurassic Park gates. Okay, cool. John Hammond yeah. is a kid. Oh, that's great, man. Yep. Well, I'm just hoping that there's going to be as much fans as possible to support this project because I really think it's awesome. And um, so the goal is to reach uh, 50,000 supporters, which is a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. But I would like everybody to know that if we reach those 50,000 supporters and if we do even more than that, we will unlock more items quickly. And that's going to be uh, supported by Universal. So. If we're more than that, you're going to be sure to have all those characters and dinosaurs from all the movies you love. 
Well, that sounds really awesome. I'm going to back the game. Um, I look forward to seeing Thank it you. come out fully. Yeah, no problem, man. I want this. <laughs> so yeah, it, I want it too. Yeah, I, I'm pretty excited to get it. Hopefully other people will be interested too. Uh, if you're out there and you want this, please share it around. Make it a reality. The more people sign up, the more you get stuff like Spinosaurus, the Lost World Jurassic Park T-Rex family. I'm sure other characters like Billy Brennan, Paul Kirby, all kinds of stuff. So... Yeah, tell your friends, if you want this, they're going to do it. So, seriously, let's make it happen. All right, man, it was awesome having you come on and talk about this game. We don't really get much stuff like this that's not an average board game by, like, Milton Bradley or something from the 90s. There's a few other ones, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. to. This is a, a big Jurassic Park fan game, so I'm really happy to have you come on here and talk with him about it. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for sharing this uh, this awesome game with everybody. No worries, man. Anything you want to say to them right now? Well, um, spare no expense. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming on. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you continue to watch my videos, and I never want any of you to forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.